One five three six. Need them. Okay. One five three six. Okay. One. Um, I'm gonna go somewhere today. Where are you gonna go? Let's start up. See what we get. doing putting a good layer of soot on these splines and threads okay so I've got the steering column off of Dyna 2 and I want to put the steering wheel from Dyna onto this shaft however this hole is much bigger than that hole and this hole has been drilled out and does not have matching splines like this shaft does so I'm going to attempt a way to make it work, and it involves JB Weld. So what I want to do is I want, to, I want the JB Weld to adhere to the inside of this hub, okay? And to, as, it, as it cures, I want it to mold itself to this spline. So I will have effectively created a, an inserted spline or a sleeved spline in this hub. Now the JB Weld is strong enough to handle this as long as we got good clean surfaces and we get good adhesion. The reason I coated this with soot is because it acts as a release agent for the JB Weld. So while it will stick to the bare metal inside here, it shouldn't stick to the spline and I would be able to pull the wheel off and have a, a perfect set of uh, female splines that matches this 
uh, thing so I can get the wheel off for or the uh, steering wheel off for servicing and whatnot in the future. The reason I'm not using, or I don't want to use anyway, the wheel that came with Dyna 2 is because this is the kind of shape it's in. It's it's really bad. And there was a possibility I could have taken that hub right there that matches the uh, steering column. And I suppose I could have taken it to a machinist, had it cut out, and then inserted in the new wheel, that kind of thing. But it runs a lot of money. And I can still do that if this process doesn't work. Uh, so... Um, so we'll try it. You know, JB Weld, I like the stuff. It's probably one of the few products in the world that does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. And um, at least that's my opinion. And so, uh, you know, let's try it. Let's see, we got nothing to lose. Well, by the way, this little neoprene washer here, I, I just slid on there <clears throat> to create the proper uh, depth that I need for this hub since it's a little different than the old wheel. And that positions it just right uh, so we can get this nut on and everything after it's done. Ugh. I'm not to waste this grease. Difficult to get force through these old dessert fittings. I know. Even after you poke them. <laughs> 